Okay, today's going to be a really quick one. A video on how to take a JPEG and enlarge it to your custom size and do it online. And what they'll do is they'll produce a PDF file uh, that will allow you to print it on your home printer to your uh, determined size. It's free, easy, and it works pretty good. So w without any more delay, I'm going to bring you over to, if uh, any of you folks have used this before, it's a poster razor. It's uh, open source. It's uh, it's made by a bunch of computer geeks that really don't look for any anything other than use my stuff and I use it. It's great. I'm not going to get too much into that. You got a poster razor. I'm going to put a link in the video below the video to this. You know where you can do this. So uh, what we want to do is start off. By default, it's centimeters. Uh, the European, uh, you know, they're located in Europe, so they're metric. If, if you are metric, leave it. If you're in the USA, click over to inches. That's number one. And what they do is they work with JPEGs. I'm not sure if they use other formats, but JPEG is uh, pretty straightforward, easy to do, and works really well. All right, so we're gonna. Import image, click on that little f folder. I'm going to search my patterns. Uh, Frank, this one's an easy one to do. All right, here we go. This is a Frank Lloyd Wright. This is a 8 by 10. You have 8 by 10, they're showing it on an 8.5 by 11 uh, piece of paper. And so we don't want to print one page. We want to say make it 16, 16 by 20. All right. So uh, we're going to go. So you have an image up. That's F L W Frank Lloyd Wright. Eight by ten. Hit, hit next. We want to do a standard format. Uh, basically, not landscape standard. I'm going to change this from A4 to letter. It's shown the letter format. A4 is more of an English, uh, European page format. I, I don't know why they change everything. I guess we changed it. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But A4 is very similar to uh, standard sheet paper, 8.5 by 11. But it is different, so we want to make sure we do make that letter okay all the borders they also the metric but these are converted to inches you can leave them easy to, it doesn't uh, really affect what you're doing later but uh, if you're weird like me you make them all half inch 0.5 All right, so we got we got borders, 0.5. Next, this is your overlapping size. This is what the uh, the software will allow for overlapping, where you can either pull uh, fold the page here, trim it. You know, I like to fold it and just kind of butt it up where it needs to go, but you can trim it. Just take a scissors or straight edge um, you'll see that after you print it it, it clearly shows up uh, the overlapping size is 0.393 that's metric again in conversion so I mean, you don't have to change this it's just an overlap but just to show you you can go 0 0.5 0 0.5 
There are disadvantages of being an, an American. Everything metric is uh, the way to go. When you, I mean, every everything. You weighing something by the gram, or you know, measuring by the meter, the centimeter. The, I mean, everything's done in in uh, segments of ten. You know, we're the oddballs. We're we're uh, twelve inches to a foot. I mean, you know, okay. Well, that it's uh something I always wondered but it is what it is but we're gonna stick with the the, the USA conversion to inches all right we're gonna hit next here is showing sizes and pages so we're gonna do two pages it's not giving you your true size it's just showing it in pages we want to do absolute so we had 8 by 10 you want to make this uh, 16 16 by 20 so gonna, it's going to print out on nine, 9 sheets now if you had no spacing, no borders you'd probably squeak it out on 2 sheets but you know sometimes you're better off with a little bit extra the, the, the difference in paper is not going to make you know it's not going to make it or break it uh, but it's going to be nine sheets uh, let's see we go that way no we're gonna, I'm going to stay with that you go next so basically your, your absolute size is going to be 16 from here to here by 20 next I'm going to save the poster they call it a poster because it's poster razor. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Poster razor. Poster razor. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to save it. You got. Uh, it goes right to your download folder. If you click on that, it'll launch Adobe Acrobat. You know, like it, hate it, and you know whatever. I mean, it it's right there for you. You can, you can do it right now. I like to really simplify things. Go into my Mac. I had it open before. You're gonna go go to preview, open, and uh, today we got FLW eight by ten. Double click that, and what? you'll see in preview it's going to uh, show you how the printed pages will be uh, I'm going to view a contact sheet this is a make it a little bit clearer what's going on uh, oh, maybe not it's just showing you all the pages so basically if you hit the print button you say you know file print it's going to print up these nine pages for you in your new size 16 by 16 by 20 you know it uh, does it all for you it's, it's free so it, it's easy to use I mean I've used it on uh, a number of projects years ago I did a a, a large you know peacock window I, I drew it out on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper you know, just to get the basic you know layout of the pattern and, and you know it's easy to do you got it on on a clipboard you, you sketch it out I know that's not really an option for a lot of people uh, but you know I sketched it out I ran it through poster razor and I took my sketch and I printed it up or tiled it up to the full size I needed it I think it was uh, 60 some there about maybe by 54 and uh, what it did it, it printed up all my pages folded taped them made a big layout and after I had everything taped and laid out I checked the measurements and uh, I got my, my graphite paper and I made a copy you know 
transferred copy right to 70 pound craft paper which I use for drafting uh, patterns you work work uh, you know your layout when you you know making a stained glass window and then the, the paper all these you know papers I can now throw them out or just you know archive them all right but that's it hit save the poster uh, like I said I'm gonna put a link to poster razor in the video below I mean in the comments below description I'll get it right uh, so if, if you like the video you know the deal you can thumbs up use it try it you can come back after you're done you let me know if you liked it I mean it, one way or the other it, you know, there's a way you can get through to these folks they do have a website let's see we're gonna go that's not it it's uh... what is it that's it come on no that's not it anyway I'll find it let me just try one more time e -O. there we go that's it <coughs> I just show the Mona Lisa getting cut up with a razor blade I don't know who are you going to keep the, the dogs and cats away this is kind of spooky um, it's just telling you about what they do the, how it's done there's a video they want to you want to watch that but I'm gonna put a link to their their web page it tells you about the project you know the source force uh, I, you know I, I, I get it you know that they, they did a, a great service with their software I, I think uh, what is this oh looks like it's German Mach, mach, dein English poster. Okay, oh there, yeah, German. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I learned how to kind of speak German in high school, but I could kind of understand it. But you don't use it, you're not going to remember how to use it. But yeah, check them out. I'll put a link to their website. Go back to English. Uh, good luck with it. If you have any success, you know, come down to the comments below and, you know, maybe say, hey, I did it. It worked. Thanks for the heads up. Well, that's what I'm here for. My videos are all things stained glass. And uh, a little humor, a little bit of, you know, just maybe do some bloopers. I had a blooper the other day. <laughs> but, uh. I appreciate you know everybody for watching and liking, subscribing, and uh, and again if you use this and post the razor, get back to their their version, online version. I think they even have a download you can download. But uh, if you do use it, let me know. All right, and uh, you take care, and uh, we'll see you next time around. Bye bye.